I'm Julie. Hello, I'm Lucy's mum. And this is my stepsister Jenny. Hi! <laughs> and we are going to be taste testing some wonderful vegan dishes today that Jenny's created. I wanted to do like an American taste testing theme, um, but I wanted to make everything vegan, so I hope that they like it. I think you will. Vegan food has actually made so much progress since maybe 10 years ago. And now, um, vegan food is definitely considered a healthier diet, but yeah. we've also found a way to make the same junk food that we all love, but just being herbivores as opposed to carnivores. So we'll see oh, what Lucy and Julie think yeah. today. Are you guys excited? <laughs> yeah! I think you'll be surprised. So what are you doing now, Jenny? I am heating up some olive oil mm. for the veggie burgers. Well, I do love a veggie burger, don't you, Mum? Oh, I do, absolutely. Have you yes. guys ever had these? Beyond Burger? No. no. Have you no, never. No. So my husband, who's made an appearance in the back. Hi, <laughs> husband. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and he's made a quick disappearance. <laughs> yeah. He is a big time carnivore and he uh, tried these a few months ago when I made them for him, and he's actually asked me for them over uh, the regular. Wow, it's like I they are are indeed. Incredible. So I can't wait for you guys to try them. What I'm gonna do for the top, Violife is the best vegan cheese uh, there is out there. It, it's like, and it, that's really hard to find, and that was actually the hardest part for me to do a vegan diet was to give up cheese. And then I yeah. found this, which is, very similar. I mean, it, it tastes really good. Um, yeah, because the only one I've had before has been really kind of leathery and had not yeah. had too much taste. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That can happen, but this one, I think you'll be pretty impressed by it. Oh, so forgive my ignorance, but if it's not cheese, what is it? <laughs> good question. Everything you can recognize as food. So these are the Beyond Burgers. As you can see, they're like freakishly similar looking. Yeah. I actually never really ate hamburgers before I um, became vegan, but I, I've heard that they taste very similar. So Jenny, your husband is from Serbia. What is the vegan food like out in Serbia, if there is any? That's a good question. I actually, I had a friend of mine go to Belgrade, the capital. That is a very progressive place. And if there's anything that is trendy, it is definitely happening in Belgrade. And he was really surprised because he went to Spain beforehand and he figured in Madrid he would have no problems. He's vegan. And he did. He, he could barely find any options over there. And then he went up to Belgrade. Like there was vegan options at every restaurant. So I think it's really kind of catching on. But where my husband's from, <laughs> I, I don't know so much. They think that it's kind of unhealthy, which most people have that misconception, really. Like they feel that without meat, you, you can't you know, get your protein and you will feel really tired. You might get really sick. I haven't eaten meat for eight months now. And I can't say that that ever happened. What did happen is I substituted carbs a lot. That was the biggest <laughs> mistake. Like yeah. I was like carving out like crazy. When I first switched diets, like I would just have a big giant bowl of rice and a few vegetables. <laughs> um, but then once you get the hang of it and once you know what nutrients to get out of what vegetables and fruits, uh, it becomes a lot easier and you don't carve out like I did. Oh, carving out is a problem for me and I'm not even a vegan. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> just imagine. <laughs> yeah, I know. So what inspired your diet change? A few things. Um, I was trying to be better about the environment, like trying to limit my use of plastic bags and, all, and straws and things like that, and just trying to reduce, reuse, recycle as much as I could. And then I, I had read about what the, without going into a lot of details, the impact that you know a lot of food production has on the environment, particularly the, particularly the meat industry. I did a, my research and found that it was just something I wanted to get away from, uh, just based on some of the not so nice things I saw. Um, 
which we don't often talk about in the United States. Uh, we just kind of keep those things behind closed doors. So once that was brought to light, I said, all right, this is the diet I want to go through for multiple reasons. And I also feel better, I really do. I've noticed when I've gone out to eat with some family members or whatever the occasion is, people eat a lot of meat around me and I'm the only one who orders something vegan on the menu. At the end of the meal, everybody else is so sluggish and just like, I can't move. And I'm like, what are we doing next? Yes. <laughs> I don't feel that way anymore. That's fantastic. Um, yeah. Does Teo have like any vegetarian or vegan diet or does he just eat what he'll eat? Um, between Duchamp and I, we have some disagreements about that. But he does not like to eat a lot of meat, which I'm fine with. Uh, but Duchamp, again, like, and I'm not blaming him, I thought this way for many years too, believes that he must eat meat or else he, he can't grow strong. You know? yeah. So sometimes we'll try to get him to you know, just give them a taste of both diets, really. I was brought up vegetarian, and a lot of people try and tell me, because I love vegetarian food, they try and tell me if you eat a vegetarian diet, it will stunt your growth. <laughs> well, I'm five foot ten, pretty yes. much. I dread to think how tall I would be if I had been brought up. I know, exactly. And you were a huge baby, Lucy, and I was, well, I was pescatarian. I wasn't completely vegetarian, but I ate no red meat or dairy meat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's because you're vegetarian. You had a huge baby. I had a huge baby. Yeah, I know. So, you, you were know. a hearty child. I was. I had the chubbiest cheeks of any yeah. baby you've ever seen. She was a monster. <laughs> Do you want mustard or no mustard? No, no I'll pass on the mustard, thank That's you. Fine. Lucy really doesn't do spicy or hot very well at all, do you, Lucy? Not at all, no. I'm very much like my dad in that sense. Yeah. Dad will literally order a McFlurry from McDonald's with no filling, like no sweets. <laughs> He'll just order the plain ice cream. So McFlurry, so basically it's ice cream. Ice cream without the flurry, yeah. Quite. One other thing I'm making, um, which I don't believe you guys have ever tried, and again, 100% vegan, um, is the all-time American favorite Frito pie. And what Frito pie has in it is these corn chips. I don't know if you guys have anything similar to this. This is the organic version, but we do have something called Fritos, which is just like this little corn strip, kind of like a tortilla strip oh. or something. Not that I can think of. You I don't see? recognize. And I've not ever tried those. No. It's good. And then we put like um, chili, which mine has tofu in it as the protein, which isn't something I normally use, but this came with it. And then just some vegan shredded cheese over here. So we'll see what you guys think about oh, it. Oh, okay. I am intrigued about the vegan cheese. Yes, because you're very cheesy. I love cheese, yeah. So I think, I think if I was vegan, that would be the hardest thing. What do you substitute for milk, if anything? Oh, oat milk. Oat milk is the best thing ever. Oh. I don't like uh, almond milk. And I don't milk. like that. Oh, Try oat milk. milk. You will be oh, so surprised. Really? It is one of the best milk substitutes there is out there. Very good for your heart. Um, oh, yeah, definitely give it a try. Are you excited? I am excited, yes, yes. I'm excited too. <laughs> <laughs> I bet a lot of people are thinking, oh, they're not going to like that because it's, you know, not real meat, maybe. Maybe. I mean, let us know in the comments below. Do you think we'll like it? Do you think our vegetarian, pescatarian lifestyle will help us with this? Or um, do you think we'll be A-OK? -okay? I mean, this is new. I mean, if you saw this, you'd think this was just like a normal burger, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, that's quite a nice shot, though. <laughs> Cinematographer in the making. <laughs> Oops. Is this that creme fraiche, or...? This is vegan cream cheese. I'm sorry, sour cream. Sour oh, I love sour cream. So, see what you think about that. I'm just giving you a little taste of it. Okay. Because I've actually never had vegan sour cream before. So, you guys are going to be the guinea pigs. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, this is the Frito pie. Or oh, Frito pie. I was going to say, is it, a is it a The Frito pie doesn't sound right, does it? No, it's, 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 it's Frito pie. Frito Don't be pie. fancy about it. Okay. <laughs> it's and not a fancy it. dish. going to get a big of <laughs> some sour cream too on my fork. Oh, wow. Wow. This is good. This is much nicer than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Sorry. The one thing about my stepmother is she never doubts me. <laughs> I never doubt you for a second and I love it. It'd be interesting to compare just from a foodie perspective, like a meat one, 
mm. and this one, just to see how mm. they differ because we have no point of reference for mm. what this should taste like. It could be exactly the same, you might not be able to tell the difference or it could be mm. a completely different thing. I like the combination of like a little bit of spice and the crispiness of the um, little Frito chips. If you hadn't have told me, I wouldn't have known that this was vegan sour cream. No, it tastes just the same as far as I can tell. And the cheese. <laughs> the cheese is good. Yeah. Okay, so you're mm. just going to watch us eat our chili now. Mm. <laughs> Should we make it start on the burger? You mm. have to get it all in there. Oh okay. yeah, we have everything. One, two, three. Right? Mm. Oh mm. wow. So there's a wonderful sweet taste. A lot of flavour in there. A lot of flavour, a lovely consistency. It's just... The texture is very similar texture. to me, I would say. But it's not like, uh, I don't know, I can remember a burger being kind of a, I don't know, a kind of a gritty, not gritty, I can't explain it's it. It's definitely not as taste. greasy as you might expect. A greasy taste, yeah. This a is to be. much nicer. This is, oh. Yeah, I definitely know what you mean, Jenny. Like, you feel like you could eat this and then, like, mm. run a marathon. Maybe right, not but, fall over. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't. You wouldn't just want to pass out. I imagine yeah. after eating this. And everything there is vegan. The mayonnaise, the cheese, the ketchup. I mean, I think ketchup's always vegan, but mm. um, yeah, everything on there. Do you know that combination is delicious? And with that little bit of mustard too. This is so moist and flavorful. And look at that. Would you guys like to try a bite of vegan dessert? Oh yes. yeah! He's gonna get we are confident now. I know. I'm just gonna I feel like I'm rushing you, but <laughs> she's excited about this. Sometimes veggie burgers are a weird consistency, don't you think? Like they're they're a very weird. They're kind of dry sometimes, yeah, aren't they? This yeah. This is not. This is very juicy. If you're intrigued, we're going to put a link to some of these food items in the description mm. below. Wow. So check that out if you just want to try them or if you're looking to change your diet, whatever, you know. That's super good. Oh, we're back on the chili. <laughs> <laughs> Coming back to that, do not take that away. The thing about um, American food, like I was talking about earlier, is that we tend to take things that are, you know, healthy or just a little bit unhealthy and see if we can push the limit. <laughs> as far as we can to unhealthy, mm -hmm. whether it's a vegan diet or anything else. So we had the chocolate chip cookie and we said, what could we do? Because this isn't really sugary or, or unhealthy enough. So we made it into a sandwich with some sugary cream in the middle. So this <laughs> is a vegan chocolate chip cookie sandwich. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Interesting. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't necessarily mean this in a bad way, it's very dense. Yes, but I like the fact that it's not over sweet. And the chocolate, I'm assuming this is a vegan chocolate. Yes, yeah, everything is 100% vegan there. I wouldn't normally eat something like this with that filling because it's so sickly sweet and yeah. it tastes so unnatural. That yeah. I would not, I'd have the cookie, you know, but I'd peel it off. That's what I want to do too. I want to take the cookie off the filling. I like the cookie, but I'm not sure about this in it. <laughs> I'm not sure about the inside. Do you do that with the Oreos too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, maybe that's just people. a big thing. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I, think the middle, yeah. I think the middle is nice, but yeah, I have to say, I agree with Lucy. I just love the flavor of the cookie. Do you know how many calories is in one of these? I don't look. No, probably not. <laughs> don't look at those sort of things. No, why would you ruin it? Quite right. Actually, we could, just for funsies. There's 360 calories in one cookie. Hmm. That's not terrible. If you were having it as a dessert, mm. yeah. you know, it's a bit much for a snack for me, but if mm. for a dessert, yeah. I mean, we certainly have bigger desserts than that, don't yeah. we? Yeah. Mum, do you think this has persuaded you in the direction of a vegan diet any further? Like, honestly? Um, I don't think I could give up fish very easily because I love all fish and yeah. I, I would not give that up, but I would definitely eat this kind of meal for sure and choose this off a menu in a restaurant yeah, yeah. it's not boring at all no yeah. it's not and I think a lot of the time like what sometimes keeps me from trying something like this is that it would be limiting yeah but mm. like this is you know this is something that I would eat normally so it, maybe it wouldn't be such a limiting diet mm. there 
there is so much variety. And no animals were harmed in the making of this video. Yeah, yeah. cruelty free. Yes, yeah. cruelty free. Yeah. yeah, it's a way to be. Yes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm much kinder to the planet. Yes. Well, thank you, Jenny, for doing this for us. It was really interesting and we really You're enjoyed welcome. it. Yeah, thank you. And uh, let us know what you think. Hit the like, subscribe, and comment. And we'll see you again soon. Bye! Bye.